Welcome to Asian Horizon. Today I want to look at the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, also called CPEC, and examine and explain what CPEC is, as there are many misunderstandings out there these days. So first of all, CPEC was a major project introduced between China and Pakistan back in 2013. It's a development project to really develop infrastructure across Pakistan from Kashgar in Xinjiang in the Western Chinese province, all the way across Pakistan down to Gwadar by the coastline. And that's very close to the Iranian border. Now, the interesting thing about CPEC is that it's going to be you know, both agriculture projects, industrial projects, energy projects, in addition to infrastructure corridors with highways, railroads, you know, and various you know, transportation routes across Pakistan. It's supposed to be a you know, phased project in various phases. You know, initially it was you know, three phases of five years each. You know, that's now expanding. So I think you know, from beginning in 2013, this is going to probably continue into 2030 or 2035, more or less. So CPEX, or the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, is really a major infrastructure corridor that is built from Western China across Pakistan to Pakistan's coastline. And that is going to really be very interesting and important for Pakistan you know, in the coming years and decades because it's opening vast economic landscape with infrastructure development, you know, foreign investments. They're also developing special economic zones, logistics clusters, you know, the really, you know, various sectors and, and initiatives, also educational sectors and initiatives are also developed because of the CPEC development. And this is very important for Pakistan. Uh, what is interesting also to observe is that Prime Minister Imran Khan, you know, he's really been able to develop good, you know, relations with, with neighboring countries, particularly both, you know, China, of course, being, you know, part of the CPEC agreement, but also with Iran, you know, Imran Khan has visited Iran on several occasions. You know, there are various negotiations and meetings between both Irani and Pakistani officials quite regularly, also, in, you know, recently to really develop, you know, agreements between Iran and Pakistan because of CPEC, you know, really to strengthen bilateral relations. Because currently trade between Iran and Pakistan is fairly low. It's only about 360 million US dollars per year. So that's very low. I think they really want to expand that going forward. What is interesting now is that they also opened a second you know, border crossing between Iran and Pakistan, the Rimdan border crossing, in addition to the Taftan crossing. So they really now are really working to extend border crossings between Pakistan and Iran. And also with the recent strategic agreement between China and Iran, uh, in which I, in a former video, previous video, I argued that I think they're going to develop various infrastructure corridors. And one of the southern corridor I think will extend from Iran via Pakistan into the CPEC corridor. So I really think that in the coming years and decades, we're gonna see extensive infrastructure development also, you know, really connecting Pakistan, particularly with Iran, in addition to China. Now, there is also a major infrastructure project being developed currently between Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. That was agreed on very early this year in a large conference in, uh, in, in Uzbekistan. And that is a plan to build now a railroad from Uzbekistan, connect via Masra Sharif in northern Afghanistan, via Kabul, and then across Afghanistan into Pakistan, across Peshawar, and connect into the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. So what's interesting to observe is that, you know, Pakistan is now also really connecting infrastructure corridors with other countries into CPEC. And that is very, very important. Now, we already know that, you know, the relations between Pakistan and India, you know, very conflictual, very challenging relations. Although Pakistan recently did extend, you know, really a hand in order to improve relations with India, but India did respond, you know, quite in a negative way. Uh, so I don't think, you know, there's going to be any, you know, rapid improvement in Pakistani-Indian relations, at least not in the near future. However, Pakistan is able to build, you know, develop good relations with both Pakistan, uh, no, with, with China and with Iran, but also, you know, really in terms of Afghanistan, they, are, they have, you know, you know, good relations. They, you know, the Torkan border crossing, that is the border crossing between Pakistan and Afghanistan. And although there have been some skirmishes there, uh, and it remains to be seen what happens in Afghanistan after NATO pulls out, you know, whether NATO, you know, whether Taliban will take over or what the situation will be, that remains to be seen. Uh, but regardless what happens, you know, it will, even if Taliban do, does take over, I, you know, it will be in their interest to that, you know, to see infrastructure to improve across Afghanistan. So I think this railroad connection from Uzbekistan across Afghanistan into Pakistan 
may take place even if Taliban were to take over, but that remains to be seen. So it's quite early, of course, to mention that and, and focus in really and see what was going to happen there. But in terms of Pakistan, in terms of CPEC, you know, CPEC really is a transformative, important infrastructure corridor with a range of projects across Pakistan. Uh, it's extending from Kashgar in Xinjiang and from Kashgar to the border between Pakistan and China. There's the Korokorum Highway, which is you know, excellent quality, very good quality, you know, very good road. So from on the Chinese side, you know, the infrastructure is really, really good. And they're now working on developing it. They're also now going to develop you know, the M1 railway connection from Peshawar down to Karachi and onward to Lahore. They're now working on finalizing the financing deal on the Chinese side. That's going to be approximately a $7 billion dollar you know, use project. So that you know, it's going to be a major project to really develop the railroad and upgrade the railroad connection across Pakistan, north to south, and then to Gwadar. So you know, this is really, you know, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. It's going to be a transformative project to really develop, you know, China's, Pakistan's uh, relationship with China, but also the infrastructure connection from China to Pakistan, and really, you know, develop infrastructure, infrastructure internally in Pakistan as well. So these are, you know, really you know, important you know, phases and developments for Pakistan. Now, there are also risks in terms of, you know, developments internally in Pakistan, in terms of the political environment, in you know, the challenging situation there. And they really need to improve and work on that in the coming years. So it remains to be seen how that will evolve. But with increased economic opportunity, job opportunities because of CPEC, because of, you know, foreign investments coming in increasingly. Uh, and, the, you know, that's also probably going to, you know, improve job opportunity for, for a lot of people. But, but, you know, really Pakistan's government is going to have to do a lot to, to work on its side internally to really improve the environment as well, to, you know, make it conducive for foreign investments, for economic development, for trade relations, uh, in terms of, you know, making and really easing the bureaucratic and you know, tariff, uh, you know, in terms of other countries, you know, in terms of trade. So there are various issues that Pakistan's government really needs to work on uh, in the near future, in the coming years, so that, you know, the, this infrastructure corridor built now from China across Pakistan really will come to use in terms of making, you know, Pakistan into more of a flourishing economy and really strengthen its economy internally. That's going to be very important. So, you know, these are some of the thoughts on CPEC, but, you know, please do remember to subscribe to Asian Horizon and uh, remember to uh, turn on notifications so you receive the videos every week and we'll remember to see, uh, see, we'll see you again and, and thank you so much.